0.1 molar solution from a 12 molar HCl stock solution. To start, you use the formula C1V1 equals C2V2, where C1 is the initial concentration. Concentrations in chemistry are vital to understand because when solutes are dissolved in solutions, you cannot tell by the naked eye how much is in a solution. As chemists, we use the term molarity to describe concentrations of solutions. Molarity is defined as moles per liter and can be visualized by the equation molarity M equals moles of solute divided by liters of solution. To demonstrate the importance of molarity, we're going to work through some examples of a 1, 2, and 0.5 molar solution of NaCl in water. As a reminder, moles are a representation of the number of particles of a chemical and calculated by the formula mass divided by molar mass. There are the same number of feathers in two moles of chicken feathers as two moles of clay bricks, but they do not weigh the same. The, wick, the bricks weigh approximately 300,000 times more. A one molar solution of sodium chloride in water would have one mole of NaCl per one liter of water. This could be either with 0.5 moles of NaCl and 0.5 moles of water, the aforementioned one mole of NaCl in one mole of water, or two moles of NaCl in two moles of water. If you look at the math, the division all comes out to be one. 0.5 divided by 0.5 equals one, one divided by one equals one, and 2 divided by 2 equals 1. Conversely, a 2 molar solution of sodium chloride in water would have 2 moles of NaCl per 1 liter of water. This could be either with 0.5 moles of NaCl in 0.25 moles of water, 1 mole of NaCl in 0.5 moles of water, or the aforementioned 2 moles of NaCl in 1 mole of water. If you look at the math, the division all comes out to be 2. 0.5 divided by 0.25 equals 2, 1 divided by 0.5 equals 2, and 2 divided by 1 equals 2. Lastly, a 0.5 molar solution of sodium chloride in water would have 0.5 moles of NaCl per 1 liter of water. This could be either with said 0.5 moles of NaCl in 1 mole of water, 1 mole of NaCl in 2 moles of water, or 2 moles of NaCl in 4 moles of water. If you look at the math, again, the division all comes out to be 0 0.5. 0 0.5 divided by 1 equals 0 0.5, 1 divided by 2 equals 0 0.5, and 2 divided by 4 equals 0 0.5. After this demonstration, I hope that it is clear that there are twice as many chemicals of solute in a 2 molar solution as a 1 molar, and a quarter as many in a 0 0.5 molar solution as a 2 molar solution. This leads us into dilutions. Oftentimes, aqueous solutions are purchased in their concentrated form, similar to how frozen juices are. This is to save space, and you can just add water to dilute it to your preferred concentration. For example, hydrochloric acid, HCl, is often sold as a 12 molar solution, but you'd almost never use it in the, that concentration. One of the reasons for this is that it often gives off fumes of HCl gas that is extremely corrosive and dangerous. A common molarity used in chemical synthesis is 0.1 molar. So how do you make 50 milliliters of a 0.1 molar solution from a 12 molar HCl stock solution? To start, you use the formula C1V1 equals C2V2, where C1 is the initial concentration, V1 is the volume of the initial concentration of your stock solution you're going to add to make the final concentration, C2 is the final concentration, and V2 is the total volume of the final concentration. This total volume is often mistaken for how much water to add. It isn't. It's the total volume of the initial volume plus the volume of the water you're adding. This becomes more clear when you run through an example. In our example, C1 is 12 molar, V1 is unknown at the moment, C2 is 0.1 molar, and V2 is 50 milliliters. The equation would look like 12 molar times V1 equals 0.1 molar times 0.05 liters. Remember, 50 milliliters is 0.05 liters. Since using the conversion factor of milliliters to liters, 50 divided by 1,000 equals 0.5. Remember, it's critical to have matching units. V1 is the only unknown variable, and solving for it would be V1 equals 0.1 molar times 0.05 liters divided by 12 molar equals 0.000417 liters or 
0.17 milliliters. From there, you take 50 milliliters, your total volume, minus 0.417 milliliters to get 49.583 milliliters, and that is how much water you need to add to the 0.417 milliliters of HCl to make 50 milliliters of a 0.1 molar solution of HCl in water. If you found value in this video, please like it and let people know about the channel because it really does help spread the knowledge. Based on what you learned, think about the following question. You have a 4.5 molar solution of sulfuric acid H2SO4 and you need to prepare 300 milliliters of a one molar solution. How much of the concentrated solution should you use to make the diluted solution? Thank you much for spending your valuable time learning and bettering yourself. If you like the video and want to learn more, donate, or get tutoring, please check out my website, nocollegeneeded.org. You can use the code NCN for 20% off tutoring and any supplemental materials.